Hi gorgeous, my name is Ara. I'm a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. And today is a day for another indie palette. This time, Glaminatrix Cosmetics, the new Barely Basics palette. Glaminatrix Cosmetics is an Australian indie brand. This is the Barely Basic palette. There is nothing basic about this palette. It is extremely gorgeous to look at, even more so in person. You're getting 12 mattes, four of the metallics, and four of the multi-chromes. It's expensive because of multi-chromes, but the formula for the mattes, and the, they are so buttery soft and beautiful, creamy. I have hooded eyes, and they have been on my eyes for a couple hours now. It's amazing how much better Glaminatrix formula has gotten over the last couple of years. This palette is vegan and cruelty free with a 24 month shelf life, 66 US dollars. It is still currently in stock and you're getting 20 grams of overall product in here. For a basic palette, it's not very basic. This thing has different tones that you can gravitate to for different looks. Everything on my face is in a different video actually. I will have that video linked down below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like to help that algorithm because that algorithm needs so much help. And if you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so before you leave today so that you know every time I upload, I have a very special soft spot in my heart for indie brands and I've been collecting them over the last few months. Today is a day for indie. I'm gonna start by making a halo eye. I have not made a halo eye in so very long. This is a My19 brush. It's a very tapered, pointy brush, but it's also large, so it's gonna give me that diffused look here on the inside corner that I'm looking for. And my eyes are primed with the Kaleidos Tone Activator. I haven't done a halo eye in so very long. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to pull this off today, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's early, there's plenty of time if I need to wipe it off if I hate how it looks. But hopefully I don't, just gotta trust the process a little bit. I'm gonna take that same shade at leggings and I'm gonna place it right out here. I'm not gonna connect the two, but I do wanna really wing it out quite a bit to help accentuate my eyes and lift them up a bit. I'm gonna use this My, what is it, My 31 brush? Yes, and I'm gonna use the shade Pumpkin Spice. I'm gonna put this right on top of that shade leggings. Starting on the inner corner, it just kind of gives me a better idea of the direction the color is looking and how they're layering. And I'm not gonna bring it too far over. I think this shade Pumpkin Spice would be absolutely beautiful as a one and done all over the lid or just all over the lid with one of these shimmers right on top. And now I'm gonna put it over that shade leggings here on the outside corner. I'm gonna start by putting it all over the outside lid first and getting all that color off before bringing it out into the crease. Oddly enough, that shade is not as deep as I was thinking it is from the looks in the pan, but I'm using the shade looks. This is a My 30 brush, and I'm gonna pack that into the outer corner here just to kind of help give me some depth, and then I will blend it off camera after I've got all my shimmers on because for me that is easier when I can open my eyes up and look straight into a mirror. That way I know both of my eyes, they're not twins, they're sisters, they're not twins. That way both of my eyes look as close as each other as possible. It's very hard to do that on camera looking down when I do a halo eye. And honestly, if I'm being real with myself, they aren't even sisters. These darn things are more like cousins. My left eye just feels like it does not want to open up as much as my right eye. I'm going to quickly blend that off camera just a little bit, and then we'll do some shimmers. I'm going to use a Danessa Merrick's pencil brush, and I'm going to use this shade Comment. Is it Comment? Yeah, Comment on my lower lash line. And I actually am gonna stop about halfway across, bring it to that outer corner. And then I am gonna place a shimmer on the lower lash line. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna bring that to the inner corner as well. 
I absolutely do need help when it comes to halo eyes for shimmers in my crease. Not so much Glaminatrix, but I'm going to use my NYX glitter glue. And I'm just taking an itty bitty smaller than a pea sized amount. I'm going to put this in the center of the lid. Just kind of tap it across uh, on the edges of that shadow that I placed down. I'm gonna use a flat brush here and I'm not going to do any swiping motions. It's really just to kind of help keep that shimmer from getting all over the place in my crease and on my lid. I'm going to use this shade follow on my finger here and I'm just going to tap it into place. I'm going to start by just gently leaving it here on the mobile lid first. And then what I want to do for all of my halo eyes is kind of tap it up into my brow bone. So that way when I look directly at you, you can still see the shimmer. I'm gonna use this shade FYP here on my finger. I didn't pick up a whole lot. I just wanna put it right in the center just to kind of see if it helps amp up that, even though it didn't need it, metallic just a touch more. And it really kind of does. Wow. And now I wonder what that would look like if I just dusted it into the brow bone. I'm going to use that pencil brush that I picked up the shade Looks on and gently, without any additional product, just kind of sweep inwards towards the center of my eye to help blend that out. My face makeup is finished, except for my lips, because I still don't know what lipstick I want to use. I do want to finish off this lower lash line and I definitely want to use that white shade Girl Dinner. Girl dinner, <laughs> it's not flat white. It definitely has a touch of, I guess a touchy, touchy, a taupey undertone to it. It's not a completely flat white shade, which is fine because I'm gonna use that for the inner corner, but I definitely need to work on this lash line. I'm gonna take the shade Pumpkin on the tip of a Sigma E27 and I'm gonna blend out that lower lash line here before I put a shimmer on there. I don't typically do a halo eye with a shimmer. But today I'm in the mood to do so. Now let's do leggings on a Danessa Myricks My29. Kind of smoke out this outer corner a little bit. I'm not going to bring it into the inner lower lash line. Some of that liner that I used, the Milk Makeup Water, not Milk Makeup, um, shoot, Melt Makeup, Melt Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I cannot think today. That one is too slippery for my eyes like smearing all over my bottom lash line. I'm just not a fan. Now for the moment of the truth, I'm going to take a refer 12 brush and go into girl dinner. I've picked up as much as I can get and I just want to pack it right here. Kind of haphazardly, I guess. I wasn't planning to be so haphazard into the inner corner. I thought it would be a little more precise, but I guess not. I guess precision is not what I'm going for. I picked up Follow on a pencil brush and I'm gonna spray it with my setting spray here because I need to be very careful. I <laughs> really don't want this all over my cheeks. Not this early in the day anyway. And I'm gonna place it right here on the lower lash line as carefully as possible. Just kind of bring it down just a touch, like a teardrop. How does that look? I don't typically do that. Let me finish my makeup and do my mascara and my lashes here and then decide if I like that. I finished this look off with a pair of Kiss New Natural Lashes in the style High Bun. It's one of my favorite styles and I'm almost out so I definitely need to get a backup. I'm also using the Lisa Eldridge Black Eye Pencil. I took off the Milk Cosmetics one. That one was making my eyes water like crazy. And I'm wearing the new Fenty Beauty lip liner in the shade The MVP and Tom Ford Scarlet Shock lipstick. As far as barely basic, no, <laughs> not even close. I have a couple other palettes from them and including their most recent one. I think that was the pastel palette. All of the mattes feel the same. 
except these just play so well and so soft on my lids. This one here, what is it, leggings? Seems a lot lighter on my skin tone than it does in the pan. I thought I would get a little bit deeper of a look with it, but honestly, not so much. Could have a bit to do with my foundation, but it is so subtle and I bet you anything, I bet you anything you could use any one of these mattes as a one and done or combine one matte all over the lid with one of these shimmers or multi-chromes and get the most fantastic, elegant look. This is a palette that's a win for me. I'm gonna be able to reach for this one pretty easily. There are a lot of indie palettes that do basic neutral palettes. I just happen to really like the matte formula that Glaminatrix has, has been doing recently and even more so their shimmer formula. So this one I think is just easier for me to reach over the other indie palettes that I have. I hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful. Everything on my face is linked down below in the description box if you click on those links to make a purchase. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much more than you know, and I will see you down in those comments. Do something for yourself today because you are so worth it.